If you're familiar with the ins and outs of the INFJ personality type, you're probably familiar with the typical rundown that includes empathy, introversion, creativity, strong values, and perfectionism. But what are those qualities of the INFJ that are seemingly controversial or unexpected of this reserved type? Welcome, or welcome back, Psycho! Before we start, we'd like to take a moment to tell you about the sponsor of today's video, Fabulous! Fabulous is a leading mental health and well-being app created to be your own personal digital happiness coach right at your fingertips. Designed using insights from top behavioral science studies, Fabulous helps you to develop the positive habits you need to finally live the life of your dreams. By breaking down these 100% personalized and scientifically proven healthy habits into small, achievable tasks, it's never been easier to create a success-boosting daily regimen that never gets boring. Learn to create daily rituals that propel you towards your goals while participating in challenges that are proven to build long-lasting motivation and awareness along the way. With a community of over 30 million users worldwide, there's no doubt you will feel healthier, happier, more fulfilled, and more productive, all at your own pace. So, do you find it difficult to rewire your brain and adopt a new routine? Make it easier with a 24-hour digital coach by your side, encouraging you to achieve your goals through bite-sized tasks and positive reinforcement. Available for both Apple and Android, the first 100 people who click on the link in the description will get 25% off a fabulous subscription. Okay, let's get right into the video, starting with number 1. They can be rather impulsive. Calm and collected with calculated moves, it's hard to believe that the INFJ could be deemed as impulsive by nature. If you've spent some time to really understand the INFJ and their cognitive functions, you're most likely aware of the quiet, reserved, and cautious side of the INFJ. They prefer order, structure, and organization. However, contrary to their at times slow decision-making processes, sometimes this adventurous type can be found more on the spontaneous side of things. Yet, being impulsive isn't exactly natural to them. INFJs can be impulsive, but when they are, it can shake up the world around them in both a positive or negative way, depending on the situation. These bouts of impulsivity are rooted in the fact that INFJs are feeling types rather than thinking types. Because of this, sometimes their emotions take the lead, often with an emotional drive to make a difference or when they find themselves in a stressful situation that they didn't predict most especially when they're stressed out, burnt out, or reaching the end of their patience with something, this hasty approach can be all-consuming. Sometimes just the simple feeling of having an overpacked routine, a feeling of stagnation, or a lack of social interaction can spark a cautious INFJ to react on impulse. Luckily, a little bit of rash decision-making can be constructive for an INFJ who's tightly bound in their decision-making. Number 2. Their inner mind is never quiet. Speaking of their distracting inner world, these inner thoughts and analyses never come to a halt. From the outside, you'd never guess that the INFJ's calming and easygoing nature is masking the depth and intensity of their inner world. INFJs have this inner need to use their endlessly restless mind, uncontrollably running at full speed all hours of the day. Whether it's constantly analyzing people's moods, the energy in the room, particular past or current situations, or the state of the world, luckily, these thoughts are often on lockdown when in front of their peers. But on the inside, they are bouncing around at 100 miles per hour. Sure, some degree of inner restlessness is relatable to most introverted types, but for INFJs, the thought processes feel a bit different. It's like having too many internet tabs open at once, opening each one of them while also trying to file them away. While the INFJ can control their mind through practice, it's seriously difficult for them to keep it from wandering. At a given time, INFJs are, more often than not, thinking of about 5 to 10 things at once, and despite their efforts to divert to one focus, 
it usually comes back full force. Number 3. They equally crave and fear recognition. INFJs are known for their kind and caring ways that they combine with their need to help others. So, in a way, being humble is not exactly considered an unexpected quality of the INFJ. However, there's some contrast when it comes to the recognition, or lack of, that comes with being of service to others. Contrarily, INFJs know they deserve recognition, yet they find themselves refusing to accept it when it's given. Being their own harshest critic, INFJs have a hard time when it comes to praising themselves and accepting praise from others because they're always thinking of ways they could have done what they did better, faster, or with more empathy. Sure, it may be surrounded by the fact that they're rather humble creatures, but sometimes a pat on the back is all an INFJ needs to restore their faith in their abilities. An INFJ author put it simply when they said, in my mind, I'm never quite where I'd like to be. So, recognizing my accomplishments for more than, say, 5 or 10 minutes feels somewhat gauche. Even if I know that I've done an outstanding job, the odds are you won't hear me bragging about it by the water cooler. If someone else compliments me, I may squeak out a hesitant thank you, but only because I've squashed the urge to tell them everything that was wrong, broken down in a detailed bullet list. In other words, the INFJ phobia of praise could use a bit of balancing out. Number 4. They're considered an extroverted introvert. Depending on the crowd or individual, the INFJ can seriously surprise people with either of their extremely reserved social tendencies. But a realization that is even more surprising is the fact that the INFJ is actually considered to be one of the more extroverted of the MBTI introverts. Because of their longing for human connection, their deeply passionate and comforting energy, and their desire to help others while gaining a different perspective, INFJs are known for their ability to match the mood of any person. However, this only comes into play when the INFJ feels comfortable enough around. And so, if you meet an INFJ in a social setting where they feel comfortable, most people would be surprised to find out they're considered introverted in the first place. In fact, feeling misunderstood is a big part of this striving for extroversion in some scenarios, and most INFJ have learned to adapt their behavior to suit situations because of it. So, Despite their need for ample amounts of alone time and their preference to stay in rather than socialize, this introverted type is much more apt to use their extroverted alter ego when necessary. Number 5. They can be completely oblivious. INFJs are observant and intuitive. They're wired to pick up on and absorb the emotion of others, and so when tuned into their surroundings, they can tell you what's going on in any room or with any specific person with ease and accuracy. But despite this keen ability of observation and emotional reflection, there are many, many times that INFJs find themselves completely oblivious to what's going on around them. Although INFJs have a knack for recognizing a friend's shallow mood or which song is playing over the radio in a matter of seconds, there's a big caveat to these abilities and that is nothing other than they're distracting our inner world. For example, say an INFJ is in line at a takeout restaurant waiting to order something to eat. Once in line, instead of looking at the menu or getting their method of payment ready, they may get lost in a thought process. Something like, I really should just make something at home, but do I even have groceries? No, I should stop and get groceries on the way home. What should I buy to make for lunch tomorrow? I wonder if everyone at work will want to go out for lunch, but I really should be saving money. And so on, you get the drift. Sometimes, INFJs can feel checked out when their outer environment doesn't require much analyzing. Losing touch with what's happening around them isn't unusual for an INFJ, yet when INFJ explanations focus so much on their intuitive talents and forget to mention them when we're more askew. Well, psychos? That's it for today's video. So, in the comments below, tell us of a time where someone was surprised to realize one of these five qualities. Also, make sure to leave us a like, 
share with your friends, and also subscribe to our channel so that you never miss a video.